minutes past eight, morning. It's 96.9, Viking up and breakfast with Jim and Rosie, producer Kelly in the studio too. Joining us now is someone who knows a thing or two about what it's like to go on the X Factor. After all, he did, you know, go on it and win it. It's Joe McKeldry, everyone. Woo! Yes. Hello. Now then, Joe, it's been a while. How I are know. You? I know. It feels like it's been ages. Um, because I've been in the studio locked away since January, so they don't let you out. No, they don't. So I, I kind of feel like I've been in jail. <laughs> Well, you know what? It's so nice that... What le- le- studios do you record in? <laughs> Ones with bars. Thank you for coming in. It's and, a pleasure. And, Thank you for having us. And helping on the show, you know, especially because Jim's away. He's going to be so jealous now. <laughs> I've had all the celebs in. Um, so did you manage to watch The X Factor at the weekend? A little bit. I was going out with some friends because I had a one day off and I thought I'm going to make the most of it and have a night out. So I caught the first 20 minutes of it. Okay. Um... <sighs> I wasn't blown away by the first episode. Really? I'm normally like, I'm ready for it. I'm like, but I don't know. There was something just... Maybe it was because the judges, the panel kept changing. Who was on the panel when you... We had the best panel. Who did you have? We had Cheryl, Danny, Simon, Louis. So that was like... It was like the ultimate. Yeah, exactly. That everybody still wants again. So you're not too bothered about the new judges? No, it's not that I don't like them, because I like Nicole Scherzinger. I just think it was switching from all different judges, like every audition. So I was like, hang on, where are we here? Like, what's going on? And I suppose as well, if you watch the first 20 minutes on Saturday, that will have been Cookie Monster guy. That was funny. So, you know (laughs) what? (laughs) In trees are green. It was, he was rubbish, yeah, wasn't he? And pink. Who? <gasps> pink. Scary pink lady. What it's happened like there? Embarrassing for her, wasn't it? What we thought we'd do um, is test you on your X Factor knowledge right, because okay. we didn't think that you, you got to. Now you're you know super famous and things. Didn't think you got to see a lot of it, um, and maybe you couldn't really remember a lot of it. So we thought I bet we'd you test can because I was a big fan of it. All right. I'm not going to blow me on trumpet too let's, much in case I well, let's really see <laughs> Joe McEldry. Okay, so I'm going to play you clips. Two different people from the same year. Who won? Okay. Easy. Could be easy. Right, okay. Let, let's see then, shall we? Okay, so this one is from 2004. Take a look at me now. That's good old I Steve. Is, yeah. well, there's just an empty space. And then G4. Do you know, I didn't know that they were in the final with him, but Steve Woodside oh. did win. Yes, yeah, Steve won. Well done. Okay, next one. Many nights we pray. 2007, it's Leon. Oh, I like that song. He was a nice boy. Yeah. And then Ridian. Now, who won in that? Leon. Leon won. Well done. You're pretty good at this. Yay. Next one from 2010. I think I officially do love her. It's uh, Rebecca Ferguson. And nothing's real but love. Nothing's real but love. I love it. And that Cardle. won. Oh, he is good at this game. Oh, round of applause. <laughs> well done. You do know your X Factor things. Just shoot for the... You too. Uh, Joe McHale, you're still here, everyone. Woo! Yes! Thank you. I guess we need to talk new single, new album. Yes, yes. Tell us all about it. It's Here's What I Believe. Yeah, the single is, and then the, the album's called Here's What I Believe as well. Could you not think of another name? <laughs> well, what, no, what it is is, because I, I, I bet everybody thinks that, but the song is written by, uh, this is the first time I've wrote a song for an album. Wow. Um, I've wrote three, co-wrote and written three of the tracks on there, and the first single, Here's What I Believe, is one I've wrote. Mm. Um, so I kind of want to be like, I can hand it and be like, Here's what I believe. Here's the album. Oh, you know, do you get it now? I you like see? that. <laughs> I see that now. Here's what I believe. Yeah, you see? Have it. It's good, that. You I know. like it. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> right, you stay there. We've got the latest On the Roads with Rachel next and more with Joe McEldry. Uh, Joe McEldry's still here, everyone. Woo! Yes! Thank you. Now, you are very busy training at the moment, aren't you? Yes, I am. Great North Run. Yeah. How's that going? Well, I've actually been running since January because I had a bit of Christmas podge that I wanted to shift. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Kenny still got it. I was going to say it before you did. Bless her, bless her, very nice. Quite literally. (laughs) But yeah, so I started, I wanted to get fit again because I had been so busy last year, I didn't have time to sleep, never mind exercise. So um, I started in January then. The sign is up for the Great North Run every year without even saying yes. It happens all the time. So you've done it before? Yeah, I did it last year and the year before. But I do enjoy it because I like running. So 
I've been training since about January time, so I should be okay. Yeah. It's in about, I think it's three weeks, two, two and a half, three it's weeks. It's not far away, is it's it? It's not, no. See, now, Jim, who does the show with me, he, he enjoys running. Right. No, he doesn't really. No, he doesn't. He, he hates, hates running. He hates running and he, ha- he hates exercise. But I, I think we could do something with this. I think Joe could be his inspiration. Well, he was banging on about the Olympics. Now he felt inspired yeah. to do exercise now. Maybe you should do the Green Earth Run with me. <gasps> yes! Joe, should we sign him up? Yeah, do then it. Then when he gets back from holidays, yes. realise he's got to run yeah. in like two weeks. He's going to And I you. think you should make him present a show while he's running. <gasps> <laughs> with You're, a microphone. You are meaner than us. <laughs> so do you think, can we, producer Kenny, can we do that then? Can we sign we can, him up? We can try. Right, okay, right. Look, I'm going to play a song. I'm going to look into this and we're going to sign Jim up <laughs> for the Great North Run because Joe McKelvey told us to. Yeah, we're playing all on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe McKeldy still here, everyone. Woo! Yes! Thank you. Okay, we've done it. That's it. Look at that. It's sent. His registration form is all done. We have officially <laughs> signed Jim up for the Great North he Run. He's going to love me, <laughs> isn't he? Well, I think we need to tell him. I no, 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 no. I think you need to tell him. What, actually phone him? You need to phone him and tell yeah, him that you've signed well, him up. OK, he might shout at us, though. It's all right. It's, <laughs> it's fine. Right, OK, should we give him a call, then? To just leave him, like, speak to him or just leave him a message and say that, hi, it's Joe McKeldry, X Factor winner, um, and I've just signed you up for the Great North Run. OK. I'll see you in training. All right, OK. He's gonna, it's, it's so fun, because <laughs> normally he can shout at me, but he can't shout at Joe. OK, let's try this. Hang on. It's Jim. I'm not around to take your call, so if you leave a message, I'll get back to you. Cheers. When you've left your message, just hang up, or for more options, press 1 at any time. Hi, Jim. Um, It's Joe McKeldry here. Now, I was with the guys at Vigan FM, and they were saying that you're a massive fan of running. (laughs) So I thought, why not sign you up for the Great North Run? You can do it with me. Um, It's in, I think it's it's two weeks' time from now. (laughs) So I'll see you at the start line. I can't wait. See you then. Yay! <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant. He's going to love that. <laughs> we really are going to be in so much trouble now because of you. Yeah. So what's next for Joe McKeldry then? So we have the obviously the Armland shows. Um, I think I'm going on tour early next year. Yeah. Like a bit proper tour, which will be very exciting. Yeah. Are you going to be close anywhere near our yeah, neck probably. of the woods? I mean, they're just kind of ironing out dates at the minute. Um, it, they, they take a lot of planning of where it's going to go and the routing and everything. But... I'm sure Save be... petrol, just like going yeah. to line. That sort of thing. <laughs> Never happens like that, but it should happen like that. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I mean, we're just we'll be doing more singles, like kind of just promoting the album till till around Christmas time, I would imagine. So I'm going to be mega busy, but I, I love it. It's good fun. Exactly. It's not, it's not the worst job to do in the world. Joe McKeldry, thank you very much. Woo! Thank you. Yes. Yay!